Today we're looking at the moment in Jesus' life that is the deep breath before the chain reaction of events that leads him to Good Friday. Jesus knows what is to come, he is overwhelmed with sorrow and he retreats to the Garden of Gethsemane to be with his father and his closest friends. So let's read now, today from the message version, Matthew chapter 26 from verse 36 onwards. Then Jesus went with them to a garden called Gethsemane and he told his disciples, stay here while I go over there and pray. Taking along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, he plunged into an agonizing sorrow. Then he said, this sorrow is crushing my life out. Stay here and keep vigil with me. Going a little ahead, he fell on his face praying, my father, if there is any way, get me out of this. But please, not what I want, you. What do you want? When he came back to his disciples, he found them sound asleep. He said to Peter, can't you stick it out with me a single hour? Stay alert, be in prayer, so you don't wander into temptation without even knowing you're in danger. Jesus must have felt pretty lonely returning to find his closest friends fast asleep. I find it really challenging his words, can you not wait one hour with me? Wherever you're at right now, whatever you face in the day and weeks to come, whether you feel you have friends and companions standing and praying by your side, or whether you feel alone, our reality is the same as Jesus' was in that moment. We are not alone. The Father was listening to every single word. Take a moment now, if you're in a difficult place or in a good place, talk to God honestly today about where you're at. And let's try to pray that incredible prayer of submission. Not my will, but yours be done, as the NIV puts it. Let's think about and examine ourselves in those situations as we read this passage together again. Then Jesus went with them to a garden called Gethsemane and told his disciples, stay here while I go over there and pray. Taking along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, he plunged into an agonizing sorrow. Then he said, this sorrow is crushing my life out. Stay here and keep vigil with me. Going a little ahead, he fell on his face praying, my father, if there is any way, get me out of this. But please, not what I want, you, what do you want? When he came back to his disciples, he found them sound asleep. He said to Peter, can't you stick it out with me a single hour? Stay alert, be in prayer so that you don't wander into temptation without even knowing you're in danger. Jesus, I am strong-willed, very opinionated and proud. But I know you are wiser, your perspective is greater, and you have the best for me. Today, Holy Spirit, would you teach us what it means to be truly humble, to truly trust, and to submit to your will.